Okay class, page 22, example 6. After we have learned about one-sided limit, two-sided limit, the assistance of limit, so today we are going to answer some variation question about limits. Okay, so question number one. So this is a piecewise function. First of all, you need to understand, alright, that the first function x squared minus 2p is for all values of x less than 2. And if x is equal to 0, when x is greater and equals to 2. If x is also equal to 0 for all value of, uh, values of x less than 4. And the last one, x, f x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus q for all values of x greater and equals to 4. Alright, okay. We are going to find the value of p and q here. Alright, okay. Look at the limit, right? Okay, the information here given that the limit of fx at x when x approaching 2 and the limit of fx when x is approaching 4 exists. Right, okay. One of the things we can say that the limit of fx when x approaching 2 exists means that right the limit of fx when x approaching 2 from the left hand side is actually equal to the limit of fx when x approaching 2 from the right hand side okay so the function that we are going to choose when x approaching 2 from the left hand side if of course x squared minus 2p alright so x approaching 2 negative alright and when x greater than 2 so we will choose the function 0 alright ok so first of all I uh, will have to substitute the value of x so we will have 2 squared minus 2p equals to so limit of constant is actually equals to the constant itself alright so therefore I can easily find my value of p here alright so therefore my p is 2 alright so I already get my value of p so now we are going to find the value of q alright the next information that we have is that the limit of fx when x approaching 4 exists. Alright. Means that. The limit of fx. When x approaching 4 from the left hand side. Is actually equal to the limit of fx. When x approaching 4 from the right hand side. Alright. Look at the piecewise function again. For the values of x less than 4, the function that we will choose is 0. Right? Sorry. And the function that we will choose if x greater than 4 is x squared minus 6x plus q. Right? For all values of x greater than 4. Right, so remember, right, the limit of a constant by the properties is the constant itself. Right, here I will need to substitute the value of 4 into x, so I will have 4 squared minus 6 times 4 plus q. So we have that, I put q as a subject matter, so we will have 24, right, minus 16. Right, minus 16. So, we will have Q as 8. Mention clearly now, the value of P is 2 and Q is 8. That's all. Right, thank you.